I'm JJ Walsh. I run a small business called the Inbound Ambassador, and it's focused on sustainability and developing and promoting sustainable products and services. And recently, I had an opportunity to do a collaborative new product project with one of the sustainable fashion designers in Japan who I had the chance to interview in my Seeking Sustainability Live series. And、uh, so I had the idea because we are in the coronavirus time right now, and it looks like we're gonna have to be wearing masks for a while longer to protect ourselves, to protect others.、Uh, whenever I wear a mask into a cafe or a restaurant and I set it down somewhere, I always feel a bit uncomfortable. Like, am I picking up germs? Am I passing on germs? So, I wanted to create something where I could keep a mask inside a bag. It had to be light, it had to be easy to carry, it had to be easy to use, and if possible, it had to be sustainably made. So, I talked to Clementine of Mikan Bags, and we decided to use the A、beautiful Japanese kimono material that she uses for her products and create a kind of bracelet, which is a bag and has a beautiful mask inside. I'll let her explain more. Hi, let me introduce a collaboration I recently made with Joy Walsh from Inbound Ambassador. Together, we've created a face mask that is also wearable as a bracelet. So, whenever you don't wear it, you can put it in its case and you can just wrap it around your wrist. The bracelet comes with two different clothing systems. One is a string with buckles that you pull to adjust to the size. But if you know your wrist size, it's better to tell it when you purchase. So, I can place the button exactly where it needs to be to fit your wrist perfectly. So, you can see one of the sides is actually open, so you can add an extra filtering layer. They're both、uh, easy to wash, so you can wash them by hand, the mask and the case. If you're meant to wear it a lot during the day, Uh, what I would recommend you is to keep the length of the elastic, and instead of having them holding on your ears, you can attach them with a hair clip at the back of your head. This way, it's quite tight, so the protection is efficient. Adjust the nose pad, and it's not pulling behind your ears, which after a few hours can be an uncomfortable feeling. Right. Now, if you want to put it to size, I'm gonna show you how to do very quickly. So, pinch it with your fingers at the size you think it's good. Place a clothespin. Here is exactly where I want it not to be. Cut the strap and tie a double knot. And the extra length can just be trimmed down. Once you did one side, you can do exactly the same thing on the other side. I invite you to go and visit my store on Etsy, Mikan Bags, where all the masks are displayed in the mask section, as well as my other product on store. Voila! I hope you enjoy. Stay safe and stay well. Bye!